they have actually um, said that Kate won't be participating in Trooping of Color. But do you know they just came out with a story that said Kate might be standing on the balcony? Now, you know me. I said, how is Kate going to stand on the balcony when Kate, are they going to tape her eyes open via Weekend at Bernie's? I'm really curious to see how this is going to work out. Well, it seems like there is something going on, okay? And just remember, you guys, you actually heard it here first. I think that one, William is going to show up on the balcony with the kids. Now, all the kids we don't know. George will definitely be there. How are they going to do this without saying that why Kate isn't there? Because they're trying to act like she's walking around getting chocolate. So she's not desperately sick. But on the other hand, she's taking a turn for the better. Well, what's going on, you guys? I think that what they're planning to do is they are going to make an announcement about um, William. And they're going to try this rollout they started in fall that didn't actually work out with William being a single dad. The interesting thing to see will be whether the other two children, Louis and Charlotte, will be there. Now, I know they're already making excuses as to why Louis can't be there because only his mother can control him. Um, were y'all were y'all watching the same thing I was? Because I saw a small child molly whopping his mom, telling her to be quiet and speaking to her like he was at, lost his mind, right? So that's why they're saying Lewis can't be there. However, Charlotte is very, very well behaved and she seems to be mature upon her years. As a matter of fact, she was the one helping George sort through everything. If Charlotte is not on that balcony, you guys, something is going on. But even more, reports are saying that, and this is also my guess, right? That Kate is not going to show up on the balcony because she can't. Well, what's the royal family going to do? They're going to have Trooping of the Color. You're going to see at least George and Charlotte waving on the balcony. And then they're going to have a bunch of reports about how Kate couldn't stand on the balcony, but she was just beyond, you know, that in the where they come out, she was in the room sitting there with her heart feeling, filling with tears. You guys, this is ridiculous. They are now floating stories about whether Kate is actually going to be on the balcony or not. This is ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. It is pathetic. It is everything I think of the British uh, media, right? But she's considering standing on the balcony. They're going to go a whole year with fake Kate sightings. Kate was here. You just couldn't see her. Kate was there. She, Yeah, she just left the room. Uh, you know what? She's in the balcony. She's literally, they're literally going to just keep doing that anyway, right? Let's get into this. The Princess of Wales is considering making an appearance on the Buckingham Palace balcony after the trooping of the after the trooping of the color ceremony. It was claimed today. This is just like she was she was thinking about working after Easter. She was going to return to her duties. She made a YouTube video. She's still looking at work from the early years. There is so much conflicting information coming out in the palace. And I said a long time ago what their strategy was. They are doing a blitzkrieg of misinformation. Because if they do a blitzkrieg of misinformation, then people just stop believing everything and they stop keeping up with it because nothing makes sense. Um, they said, Royal officials confirmed yesterday that Kate will not attend the coroner's review on June 8th, which is a traditional rehearsal for Trooping of the Color. But the Daily Mirror reported that the princess is understood to be considering walking onto the famous balcony in a fortnight time if she is feeling well enough. Spoiler alert, it's not going to happen. And tell me how you are walking around, eating chocolate, being pictured in stores, all these fake news. But yet you need to tell us if you feel well enough to literally walk six steps. The queen who had late stage bone cancer, had to walk onto the balcony and she stood there. So what is going on with Kate? They really just keep saying anything. Kate, who's also undergoing cancer treatment, would have been due to take the salute on June 8th in normal circumstances in her role as coroner of the Irish Guards. But she continues to stay away from public royal duties during her chemotherapy while resting at home and will only return when doctors give all clear. So let me get this straight. You can go get chocolate. You can walk around. You're bouncing around. You're having fun. You turn the corner. But you are not mentally well enough to walk six feet and stand on the balcony with your family and loving husband and devoted father-in-law. 
Lieutenant General James Bucknell, former commander of the Outlight Rapid Reaction Corps, will be the inspecting officer on Kate's behalf. Buckingham Palace also revealed yesterday that Charles um, will travel in a carriage with Queen Camilla and will not be on horseback. Daily Mail understands the attendance of other royal family members at Troopy and the Color events will be confirmed. So let me get this straight. You are well enough to go walk around and get chocolate with William, but you're not well enough to get into a carriage and be driven around and wave at people. You're not well enough to stand on a balcony. You're not well enough to do any of that, but we're supposed to believe this, you guys. Yes, this is part of the fake Kate sightings, but somewhere in the BS lies the truth. What is part of the truth? Well, look at this. There's been a lot of commotion over where all the other children are. He only brings the air out, George. I think that's because he all he cares about, okay? But some people don't agree. Then, right? Then, so we have George, okay? But also, people have been saying, where's Charlotte and where's Lewis? If they all come out standing with William, that will be the launch of William's journey as a single man. William, because William's stupid. I know what you're saying, Tisa. A father coming out with his children while his wife is sick is not the launch. Yes, to a normal person, human with a heart, William does not see it that way. William wants Rose on that balcony. Could you imagine William, Rose's children, his children, and no Kate in sight? What if they invite, well, they couldn't invite Rose and her husband, could they? I'm just saying, I do believe that we need to see if we see all three kids standing on the balcony. If we do not see all three kids standing on the balcony, one, we know something is very, very wrong with them. We already know something is very, very wrong with Kate. Uh, Kate. The palace keeps thinking they can play these games, keep playing them, but eventually someone's gonna say, it has been over nine months since we have seen this woman in public. And mo most people know someone that had cancer or has cancer to say, there is no reason why a human goes into hiding. Maybe they're hoping Sleeping Beauty wakes up. You guys, keep your eyes on Trooping of the Color. Keep your eyes on who shows up on the balcony. Keep your eyes on how pathetic that balcony is going to look because Charles, Camilla, William, um, George, that's it. I know that Charlotte better be on that balcony. So only two things are happening. Single dad launch or it's going to make even more questions about what is going on with those children. Where are they? It'd be a shame that they already started casting them aside and making them at spears before treating them like spears before they're even 10 years old. Regardless, I can't believe that people are more not in arms that a princess of the realm, Kate Middleton, is not showing her face for trooping of the color and she's not even going to be listed. And before you guys say chemotherapy, her hair, yes, I understand that. And I also understand that the queen went through much worse. And I also understand that there are lace fronts, there are wigs. Ask Kate, not the Amazon ones William made aware. There are lace fronts, there are therapy, there is makeup. There is no way that if Kate was okay, she would in any way be okay with letting Harry and Meghan dominate, Beatrice taking her place, even Zara Tyndall taking over her stuff. Again, I've said it once and I've said it again, there is something seriously wrong with Kate. I hope she's still on this earth. If not, yeah. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I will talk to you later. Bye. Keep your eyes out on this space.